Welcome back, baby. Beautiful. Spring morning here in West Virginia. You hear the birds? They're just singing up a storm. Pretty excited about this unit. First ride since I've had the white Z in what I'm calling summer mode. I got the factory windshield off. It was a Yamaha unit. Had the big things up here that mounted on with like two big ears or something crazy. Didn't care for the looks of it. Also had two big units back here on the back to where when the windshield flipped over, it locked into place. So it had four big plastic blocks on the roof. Had the light bar in the middle. I didn't like it either. So there she is. Wide open. Ready for the breeze. Ready for action. Pretty pumped about that. Also pretty pumped about this beautiful Friday morning. I took the day off from work. Last two days put in somewhere around the 30 hours. Last two days. Way too much for this old guy. So trails were calling. Beautiful today. I think it's supposed to be seven, mid 70s, something like that. 78, gonna be beautiful. Haul down here to the Pinnacle, Pinnacle Creek Trailhead. Listen, guys, I'm filming. You can't be group texting me right now. Hold on a minute. All right, we're back. Uh, this is a little bit further from the house. It's about a touch over an hour haul down for me uh, sometimes we'll ride it from the house but it's an all day event to get down ride and come back so wanted to haul down this morning it's a little chilly this morning starting to warm up around 62 now beautiful so we hauled down as in we me and the z haul down I'm going to run some pinnacle today uh there's a couple trails i really like down here uh, i think one of them's like a maybe a trail 19 it loops off the main trail goes down by itself and comes back up it's a fun little ride trails that come off the main trail that loop all the way around and come back and there's not a lot connecting to it like i said the only thing that hooks to this one's one single track 
And right here, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but it goes down through here. Circles around, goes up through where, comes back around the mountain, through here, down that way. So, these trails you can run a little bit faster on. Um, when you come to a spot like this, you can stop, which is what I'm doing now. Usually if there's two or three of us, we'll send a guy out front. You know, we'll also do this, but we'll send a guy out front to kind of look for traffic, be as safe as we can be. But when I'm out running around by myself and I want to get on it a little bit, I'll try to find one of these trails and find a spot where you can see where it wraps around a little bit. Stop, cut the machine off. And as you can see, you don't hear anything. Very good indicator that nothing's coming. So that tells me for the next little bit, you know, at least down through here and back around up through here, I can get on a little bit. Don't have to worry about running into anybody or anybody coming out through this way. So I want to jump in real quick, give you that little tidbit of information, let you know, you know, kind of what we do to kind of stay safe anytime you see us getting on or something like that. We're always trying to be as safe as possible. <laughs>
baby out right here. Now we're on trail 19. One of my favorite trails out here on the Pinnacle system. Maybe one of my favorite trails on the Alba systems. Really like 19, I don't know what it is. Again, it's one of those that breaks off, wraps all the way around the mountain, comes back in. Not many trails at all, I don't think, maybe none hooked to it. So you don't have a whole lot of intersections on it. It's not a one way, but it's the closest thing on Hatfield with McCoy that you know that you're going to get to a one-way trail you can get on a little bit like i said anytime you come to a section where you can see some of the trail ahead of you where it bends around the mountain you know maybe it goes down wraps around comes back down the other side you can cut your machine off look it over you don't hear anybody you don't see anybody you know you're okay to get on a little bit for a little while Just a nice little spot. No YXZ is doing good. I did some shock adjustments here recently. Turned them down some. I was sitting somewhere like 10 inches or something. Ground clearance in the back. I got her up to 13, 13 and a half. That's where I cranked her up to. Definitely more clearance. Not hitting a lot of stuff now. Before it was setting probably nine and a half, ten 10 inches. So. I put about four inches in it or so. She's doing real well. More ground clearance, a lot, quite a bit less body roll. Had a whole lot of body roll before. That took some of the body roll out, but she was riding rougher. Definitely a rougher ride. That's okay.
All right, folks. That's going to do it. I got good news. I got bad news. Good news is we made it. No breakdowns. Flag Z. She's a unit. Bad news. Just loaded her up. Got in the truck. Got ready to roll out. Well, got in the truck. Unloaded my stuff. Getting ready to roll out. Before I strap her down. Just make sure we're good to go. Left pocket's been unhooked. The old cargo shorts. Let me down. I did a battery swap in cameras. I don't know, hour and a half ago, something like that. <clears throat> Didn't close the pocket back, lost the wallet. Unbelievable. So, bad news is, lost the wallet. More good news is, I found it under the seat in a puddle of mud. It's one of those sucks but could be worse situations. Could be on the trail somewhere, never be seen again. And I gotta spend 32 days at the DMV getting my license back, and then four days at the courthouse getting the social security card and all that stuff. Then another 12 hours at the bank getting my cards back and canceling the current ones. But we found it, and it's a very good thing. I cleaned her up a little bit. You can see where she had a little bit of mud, caught up in the cracks in the bottom. We've cleaned her out some. She's gonna make it. It's a real good thing because right here, what you'll see, it's a Powerball ticket worth four hundred million dollars. That's right. Pretty confident on winning at this time. Four hundred million. Now, if we do hit this unit, then we're going to. I can guarantee you a brand new ride for the channel. Good to you. Yep, that's it. Link in the description for all the ways you can support us. Click your subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment if you'd like. We'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it. Well, they did a fabulous job. Good unit. I want that my typical one strap. One strap and let her ride. And we'll see y'all in the next one. All kinds of tangled up here.